U.S. in Abrams dominates in the battlefield in Ukraine, Russia's tanks are powerless against it. Ukraine is operating a small fleet of U.S.-made Abrams tanks, combat-proven vehicles that were built to destroy Russian armor. The war in Ukraine hasn't really featured the kind of tank-on-tank -tank engagements that the M1A1 Abrams was designed to win, according to Business Insider. And instead of leading massive armored breakthroughs, another function they were built to carry out, these tanks are primarily being used in more of a supporting role. But a Ukrainian tank commander said the Abrams was still a dominant tank on the battlefield, better than the Soviet-era ones Kiev fielded at the start of the war and even Russia's top and most celebrated tanks. It's better than T-72, T-62 and even T-90, the commander who goes by the call sign Zakon said through a translator during a recent interview with Business Insider from an undisclosed location near the front lines in eastern Ukraine. The U.S. initially planned to send Ukraine the newer M1A2 variant, but decided to send the older M1A1 tanks that run $10 million a unit to speed up the delivery process. Kyiv received all 31 Abrams in the fall, and they're now in service with the seasoned 47th Mechanized Brigade. Zakon commands one tank and oversees a crew that consists of a driver, a loader, and a gunner. He said the M1A1, even though it's an older model of the Abrams that has been the main U.S. battle tank for decades, was twice as good as Russia's T-90. It's like a mouse against a big cat. If we compare these tanks, he told Business Insider. Russia has fielded multiple variants of the T-90, a main battle tank in service since the early 1990s. The newest and most technologically advanced is the T-90M, which Russian President Vladimir Putin once claimed was the world's best tank. The T-90M is the most sophisticated tank Russia has deployed to Ukraine since Moscow has withheld its T-14 Armata from combat. It has thermal sights, multi-layered armor, a sophisticated fire control system, and electronic warfare capabilities, among other tools. The Abrams hasn't really had a chance to do much of what it was made for in Ukraine, though. Though capable, they're not invincible. According to the open-source intelligence site Oryx, Russia has lost at least 100 T-90Ms and more than 50 other T-90 variants. They have fallen victim to Ukraine's small attack drones and armored vehicles. Another sophisticated Russian tank is the T-80BVM, which according to Oryx, has suffered at least 150 losses. Overall, tank losses for the Russian army since the start of the war are estimated to be more than 3,000.